friends, I'm so glad you're here with me today. We are going to be talking about animals. So if you have any favorite stuffed animals at home, feel free to bring them over with you, um, to sit with you as we do our lesson today. Let's open up in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time that we can come together and learn about you, Lord. I pray that you would show us the things that you have for us today. Help us to grow in you, Jesus, and be more like you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, I have a question for you. Does anybody know what this book is called? The Bible, that's right. Um, and so we need, if you have your Bible, go ahead and grab it. Follow along with me. We are in the book of Genesis at the very beginning of the Bible. The very, very beginning of your Bible. So if you have it, open it up to that first beginning part of it. And that's where we're going to be today. From in the book of Genesis. Now, last week, Teacher Allison taught that God created the world. Do you remember how many days he made the world in? Six, that's right. And then on the seventh day, God rested. Now, I have a question. Do you remember what he made on day number five? That's right. God made the birds and all the fish on day number five. The things in the sky and the things in the water. Now, do you remember what God made on day number six? Yes, he made the rest of the animals on day number six. You are right. He also made the very first person, a man named Adam. Can you all say that with me, Adam? Good, Adam, that's right. He made Adam. And that is where our story picks, off, picks up from today. So we have all of the amazing animals God created and God placed them, as well as Adam, in a beautiful place called Eden. Shall we read together? God had planted a beautiful garden for Adam in a place called Eden. Do you see Eden? A river flowed through the garden. There's Adam. You see the birds and the squirrel? Adam loved his new home. His job was to name all the animals. Oh my goodness, what a neat job. God asked Adam to name all the animals. Now, that's a pretty important job, don't you think? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, look at it. If you saw this animal here, what would you call it? Hmm, let's see. Maybe Humpty? I guess it's a good thing God named, or Adam named him a camel and not me, Humpty. Hmm. What about this animal here? What would you call it? I might have just called it legs or something like that. But not Adam. He named it an octopus. What about this animal here? What do you, what would you call it? I'd probably call it something to having to do with its trunk. But Adam, he called it an elephant. That was his job, was to name all the animals. He gave this animal the name donkey. He gave this animal the name giraffe. He gave this amazing animal the name lion. Do you have your animals with you? What are their names? Would you call them something different than Adam would have? I have a sheep here. Would you call it a sheep? Or would you call it something different? If it was up to me, I might have named it Fluffy or something like that. But Adam named it a sheep. That was his special job. Let's keep going. His job was to name all the animals and care for the garden. Adam loved the animals. Do you love animals? 
Me too. They're special, aren't they? Yeah. Adam, he loved all the animals, but he could not a friend find a friend that was just right for him. So God created a woman. Her name was Eve. Did God take care of Adam? He did. And God takes care of you and me as well. God made all the animals and he gave Adam the very special job to name them all. Do you know later on in the Bible, in the New Testament, it talks about how God created everything and how all things are created for him. Things are created for God's glory. God gave Adam this very special job to name all the animals for his glory because that's how great God is. God gave the par your parents the responsibility ability of naming you. They chose your name. And do you know what? Just like Adam, you have a very special job too. You might not know what it is yet, but your job can be used for God's glory just like Adam's job was used for, to give God the glory in all the things, in all the animals that he created. Let's thank God for that. Dear Lord, thank you so much for creating the animals. Thank you that they can give you glory, Lord. Help us to give you glory in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, do you guys have some Play-Doh? I love Play-Doh, it's so much fun. Well, if you do, go ahead and grab some um, Play-Doh. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flatten it out. If you have a rolling pin, you can roll it, or if not, just go ahead and press it down so it's nice and flat. You wanna get it all flattened out. Can you do yours just like I'm doing mine? Get it nice and flat with your hands or with that rolling pin. Either way works great. All right, did you get it all nice and flat? If you need some help, feel free to ask mom or dad or brother or sister. I'm sure somebody is willing to help you out. Maybe grandma or grandpa. So then you're gonna get some cookie cutters, some Hmm, let's see, I have a bear. No, I'm gonna put it in there. Let's see here, let's look at my bear. All right, I got my bear. Now, Adam named this a bear, this animal. Would you have called this a bear? Hmm, now this is a Play-Doh version. Do you think I could call it something different? Maybe I'll call it Fluffy. I think that's a good name. What about a chick? Would you have called this a chick? Maybe, that's what Adam named it. What about a cat? Would you have named this animal a cat? Hmm, maybe whiskers. What about an owl? Can you cut out some Play-Doh with your owl? What would, God have, what would you have named the owl if God had given you that job? Mm, I have a sheep cookie cutter here. What would you have named a sheep? I don't know. That's what Adam called it. What about, ooh, a whale. Adam named this animal a whale. If you had a chance to name it, what would you call it? Would you call it a whale? Or would you call it something else? See, there's my whale. What animals can you make? If you don't have any cookie cutters, that's okay. You can make animals without them. Maybe take some Play-Doh, roll it in your hands just like this, so that it makes this thin piece. And you have a snake. Would you have called this animal a snake? 
What about, hmm. I'm gonna try to make a bird here. See my little bird beak? You guys can finish the rest of your body on the body on your own, because this is about as good as I can get. But you can create your own animals even without them. And then get creative. What would you call each one? Hmm, maybe I'll call the chick Sprinkles or something like that. Come up with your own names and have some fun with it. I'm so glad you could be here today joining us as we talk about how God created the animals. Can you say that with me? God made the animals. Your turn. God made the animals. That's right. Great job. Dear Lord, thank you so much for making the animals. Thank you that we can learn about you. We can learn about how you made them and how you named them. I pray that you would bless each boy and girl, and that you would give them an amazing week. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, everyone, see you next time. Bye.